Your team has only played four games over the last month, and now you're heading into this 18-game gauntlet. gauntlet. <laughs> right. How do you get them ready, and what's the biggest thing you want to impress upon them about what lies ahead? You know, when you have, you know, the guys we have, I said this is a new year, and now hopefully the lessons we learned in, in 2018 from the first 12 games, uh, you know, can we put all that together now into the new year? And I love the fact that we're playing at home. I love the fact that we got a sellout. Um, here uh, with our guys, we've added some stuff to the last two weeks, so time gives you a chance to make some adjustments and play different lineups. And you know, I've learned a lot too about this team in the last uh, in the last few months. Um, so um, you know, I'm excited about all the challenges ahead, but I'm also excited about this team. I, I like this team. You know, we don't have all the pieces yet, and we don't have quite everything figured out, but they work. Um, they do a good job of preparation. Obviously, we're better at home, so I like the home games. Um, but I'm excited about the challenges. And can we get through the gauntlet here, which is coming, and there's challenges in every corner. The matchup with Maryland, big, strong, very talented up front. What will be the biggest thing your big guys have to do in this game? Well, I mean, they're they're awesome rebounding team. Mm -hmm. You know, have been one of the elite rebounded teams in the country, and, and Bruno and Smith and all the big bodies that they have. Um, you know, up front. So we have to do a great job, you know, with that. And, and uh, it's our guards, too. Their guards rebound, including Cowan, who's one of the smaller guards in the league. He sticks his nose in there and gets a rebound. So guard rebounding will be huge. It'll be huge moving forward for us. And, and we really want to put a huge emphasis, you know, moving forward on, on getting the ball up the floor and great spacing and, you know, getting some post touches, too. So um, we've emphasized some different things. We put in some new sets to hopefully you know emphasize some of the things we have to do but rebounding in this game in particular with their size and their strength is, is huge Thanks. montez is a maryland kid on your roster um i don't think he got an offer from maryland is that something you'll use as motivation for him or something no nah, i mean i don't know if any of our guys got offers from maryland so uh, you know maryland recruits great and you know Coach Turgeon does an awesome job, so I never really worry about that. Montez keeps getting better. That's what I'm more worried about. Um, he's practicing better. He's getting to the rim, um, shooting free throws better, um, playing better defense. So that's what I'm more concerned, you know, than, than who did or didn't recruit our guys. Steve, as the competition gets bigger size-wise, you're going to need Issa's length. What do you want to see from him on both ends? Yeah, I mean, Issa, you know, really important guy moving forward. He's one of our you know, veteran, veteran players. We don't have a lot of, you know, veterans. And, uh, you know, physically, I want him to really start feeling better. Uh, we need him to score more. We need him to post up more. We need, you know, just to get more production out of him. He's, he's a better three-point shooter, too, than he's shown. Um, you know, he's gone through a tough stretch here. And hopefully uh, the last couple weeks have helped his body kind of uh, rejuvenate. And, and, and hopefully we get his mind in a great place so he can really start helping us on both ends of the floor. All right. Yeah. You mentioned Montez getting to the rim more. How important is that for you guys to be able to attack the rack more, get to the foul line? Yeah, I mean, I like all our guys because I think, you know, Caleb McConnell can get to the rim a little bit, Peter Kiss a little bit. You know, Montez is certainly, you know, that's the strength is. I think Ron Harper can get to the basket too. So it's not just been for one particular guy. For us as a team, we need to, you know, get to the rim more. We need to get more post ups. We need to stop settling for threes. Um, Gio can get to the rim too. So, Everybody, and if everyone could do a little bit better in that area, that would be huge help to us and diversify our offense a little bit. You mentioned getting the ball up the floor. Does that mean you're going to be, they'll be pushing it more? Yeah, you know, and, and Caleb, too, you know, is learning how to, you know, to do that, too, for us. So I think, you know, huge emphasis the last few weeks, and, you know, hopefully we can, you know, take advantage of, of some transition, easy baskets, that kind of thing. So we'll see. But Maryland's a terrific transition team, and, Cowan maybe you know as good a point guard as there is in, in the league in the country, and then Ayala too is a really good point guard. So they have two guys that can really do that. So we, we got to get back and make sure you know they don't get easy baskets. Right. So first two months of the season, what did you like and what what didn't you like so far about this? You know, I, I, we were inconsistent. That's what I didn't like. Um, figuring out six guys who hadn't played for us before. So you know, figured out the lineups a little bit more. I feel better about our rotation. You know. Uh, uh, Shaq Carter's come on strong. You know, Caleb's gotten better. I think our young guys have, you know, uh, improved. Um, I like, again, I liked our defense at times. I liked our offense at times. We got to put it all together. This is an all together league. We got to play on both ends of the floor. Can't be so inconsistent. Um, 
you know, so, uh, you know, there's a lot of things I liked, but the inconsistency is what I didn't like. And now we got to do it on both ends of the floor during the course of the season, these 18 games. You got to play well on both ends of the floor in this league. Nine, I think there's been nine teams already ranked. Is that correct? Yes, nine different teams. Nine different teams out of 14 already ranked. I mean, the league is a monster and it's the best league in the country. I've been saying that for years and now everyone's starting to realize, you know, how good of, of a league this is and how hard it is to win you know, on the road in this league. So you really got to protect home court. What does it tell you that uh, your fans sold out this game? You know, I love the fans half from day one, you know, and, and uh, uh, the belief that they have in us. I think they appreciate our guys work hard and play hard and they're great kids. Um, and we need to make this a tough place. Every venue in our league is really tough to go to. There's no, you go to Nebraska, it's sold out. You go to Wisconsin, it's sold out. You go to Michigan State, it's sold out. And Michigan's as good a team as there is in the country. So Rutgers is becoming one of those venues where it's tough to play and our fans come out and students come out and, and the band does a great job and all the, all the you know, people that surround our program that pump excitement into it. So very thankful and our players play better when it's, when it's packed and, and hopefully you know, we'll play hard. We always ask the Rutgers-Maryland rivalry question on football. Do you feel like that might be part of it? Every game is a rivalry here for us in 18, this gauntlet that we're going through. So. Uh, um, you know, Maryland is, is, you know, he does as great a job, uh, you know, coaching and they got good players and, you know, these games are all tough, but I'm glad we get a you know, tough venue too for them with the place being sold out. So uh, every game, we're in a place, every game's a rivalry. I try to approach every game like that. Cool. Appreciate you guys.